what river we're on. Hi, well, right now we're on the Missouri River. We're up north of St. Joseph, Missouri, one of the nice river towns that was settled here along the river. And essentially what we're doing is we're just taking a tour to look at what we have today for the river setting, what the habitat's like today, and ultimately discuss what it was like 100 years ago um, before human intervention happened. Um, so as you can see, we're right here real close to the bluff on the Kansas side and we're way far away from the bluff on the Missouri side. Now historically, that this river was wide enough that it would have many numerous channels, many sandbars, willow islands, things like that, and it would bounce from bluff to bluff. So in a short amount of time, it had that lateral connection, bluff to bluff, and that, that width that kept, um, that kept the fish and wildlife supplied with all that they needed, uh, that, that they needed to survive. And so what's happened over the past hundred years is we have needs, and so we had needed to expand west, we had needed uh, to have um, control of the river, so to speak, so that we could put our cities by it, so that we could have water supply from it, so that we could have navigation, so we could ship goods and services up and down it. And so in the late 1890s, early 1900s, that process started of trying to make this river, this wild, um, dynamic river at the time, suitable for us to ship stuff up and down it and use it for our commerce and, and for our own needs. And in doing so, what we've done is we've shrunk the river in width and made it very narrow so that it's a very efficient self-scouring channel. And we've rocked outside bends, we put wing dikes that run perpendicular to the current on the inside bends so that we can keep the water here in the exact same spot year to year for a long time so that we know where the water's at. In doing so, we lost all those things that were good for the fish, that were good for the wildlife, the marshes, the wetlands, the side channels, uh, the numerous bars, and we've actually sped the water up. And so in those things, we've now found, after 100 years of hindsight, that we have species in the river now that are not doing as well as they were historically, um, and some of them are even endangered now, including the pallid sturgeon. So if they wanted to find out more about the Missouri River and what you guys are doing, where would they go? Um, the main website for Missouri River um, uh, information that we that you can go to is the Missouri River Recovery Program. And it's a website housed by the United States Army Corps of Engineers, which is the managing entity of the water of the Missouri River. And it has to manage the water for all the states up and down the basin and all the authorized purposes up and down the basin so that they can balance the water in this river out so everybody gets a chance to use it, including fish and wildlife. Everyone needs to check that out. How cool is that? We're on the river today and we're going and we're going to show you some more. A ride like this you can only experience once and thank goodness that we have people like Casey that are working hard to keep it that way.